Hello everybody, it's me and happy Good Friday. Um, I wasn't going to do a holiday but I have had to go to Asda because I couldn't go yesterday because it was my birthday. So I have, oh, I forgot to put earrings in this morning. Happy, we are without no earrings in. Anyway, it was my birthday yesterday and I was busy. I was like getting loads of prezzies, went out for lunch, had a few drinky poos. Come back home and ate me weight and chocolate. Had a couple of more drinky poos and toddled off to bed. <sighs> Just, as I say, I was feeling a bit delicate this morning. Not a hangover. Because I tend not to get them. Uh, just, you know, when you just feel a bit delicate when you walk, a little bit like that. But I'm all right now, I'm having my coffee and I'm fine. Uh, I've got loads of nice, I've got loads of nice birthday presents. Well, I've got really one really nice birthday present, I'll show you. Been after a pair of these for absolutely ages and I, knew, I had a feeling I was getting them with the other people that I wasn't in the box. Dr. Martin sandals. Yes, the real ones, not like the snipe ones on like Primark. Like they the proper Doc Martens, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just make them really nice when it comes out. I'll be rocking them with my dresses. Yes. So I'm so happy because they are expensive. I, I didn't she doesn't need to spend that much on the but she did it was there for my daughter. I got jamas, candles, flowers, money, which is going into my new which is going in for a pair of boots which I won from Dr. Martin. So that's going into my Doc Martin book fund, which I've seen pair but 160 odd quid. So but once you've got docs you've got them practically for life. Anyway, so I got them, I got new jamas. I didn't want any chocolates, but some of you guys have sat a chocolate box of chocolates bigger than me head. Well, my head's quite big to begin with, you know what I mean? So, yes, I'm nice uh, day. Went out for lunch at the White Swan up in Dinton. And uh, I had like a really nice uh, mints and dumplings, but I was like leek dumplings, and oh my god, it was delicious. And like my, my sister wanted a pie. So she says, she called me, she says, what's, what's the pie? She says, oh, it's corned beef or steak in red wine. She says, oh, I love steak in red wine. And then the waitress comes back to her and says, sorry, you can't have the steak in red wine. You've got to have the corned beef because we won't use one pie. We won't, uh, cut, they won't use one pie till the other pie is used up. She says, how many slices is left of this corned corn beef pie? She says, one. Oh, my God. Well, my sister... You know, it was like a red rag to a bull. Honestly, I could... She was, like, looking at the menu, thinking to get into somewhere else. And she was, like, foaming and, like... My brother-in-law sat across from his fucking pissed and he started laughing, winding it up. Because he's a right wind-up merging. And so my niece's next to us. She's, she's in on it as well. She's winding everybody up. I'm sitting there with my heart, heads in my hand, thinking, oh, no, she's going to kick off, she's going to kick off. She didn't thank the God, but she was not happy. You know what she ended up with? A bowl of chips. She says she likes a uh, corned beef pie. But she says it's the principle of the thing. Like, why offer her the red... Why offer... Say, oh, we've got steak and red wine pie. If you're not going to give her it. Why? If you're not going to cut it. Because if you're not even giving her a choice. Which I can say a point, you know, and this, she talked about it like for an hour. Honestly, I was a bit like, oh, you know, I was like getting, losing the will to live by this fucking time. Anyway, went up there. I, I, I will see they do an immense sticky toffee pudding. Me and my sister had a bit and it's quite a size. And it, was an, it was a nice, decent bit. And, Oh my God, I rolled out of there. If, I, if there was umpa lump as there, they would have been rolling us out. You know, what's her name for root assault or something? You know, when she gets pushed, or vine or something. Vine that's her name. When she gets pushed out by the umpa lumpers, I felt like that. Anyway, so that was that. Um, you just had a nice day, apart from the pie gate. But, yeah, uh, I've got flowers, I've got 
and like I say, I've got jars, I've got candles, I've got gift sets, you name it, I've fucking got it. Anyway, so that's why I'm doing the whole day because I had to go the day and get some bits because even the fucking spiders are packing up and leaving. Exaggeration. And I've had to say, I had a cold at the weekend, you know, the thing that's going around. My partner's gone, he's absolutely flawed. I've got it, no, I keep getting this, I keep coughing, but I keep hulking up fucking green gobbers and they're all the awful. I know, I know too much information, but I'm a sharing can kind of person, like I've said before. Um, but yes, I've been doing that. Um, I just, I haven't had time because I've had a busy week. And next week's going to be busy because Tuesday is my daughter's birthday and we're going out for lunch for her birthday, so. <sighs> I'm looking forward to having a nice weekend in the house. Honestly, I'm looking forward to having the next few days in the house. No kids, everything, because they're all, they'll be up to the caravan for a, a long weekend, which I'm so glad. I could have went, but I didn't want to go because I didn't want to be surrounded by kids. So I'm so happy. Oh, I get the weekend to myself with no kids. Oh, so I'm going to enjoy it. Sitting, eat me, put me in the fucking chocolate coma, cause, uh, honestly, box of milk tray, it's absolutely huge. It's massive, like, it, it's big. Put it that way. And then the day when I went up with my daughters, she gave us a box of fucking cream eggs. I went, oh my god, what you trying to do? Put us a fucking make us diabetic. Honestly, on top of everything else. Oh, so I've got like, I had half a box of, last night, that giant box of chocolates, I've got another half a box. I've stuck them on the unit in the uh, sitting room right at the back, hoping I'll forget about them. I don't think they'll be, because they're playing on me right now, saying, ooh, chocolate. Mm. No, naughty, naughty woman. So I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm going to get on with the whole, it's for Mazda, there's not that much. Like I say, it's just a few bits and bobs. So I'm going to take another sip of my coffee. Then I'm going to do Matt the Hall. Why did I say it like that? Why did I say it? Matt the Hall. Oh, never mind. Right. Let's get on with it. I'm going to have to bend down and get the band to the piano creaking. It's me boots. Right. Right. Bag number one. I've got two bottles of tonic water. This is 59p each. of These are the low calorie ones. I use them because I get cramps in my legs really, really bad where I can't, can't move for like 20 odd minutes, half an hour. And it'll still hurt afterwards a bit. So this really helps with the cramps. So I've got two bottles of that. I've been drinking it for the past like month and a half, something like that, two months. And it's I've seen the difference. I've really seen the difference. Um, so, some turkey bacon, this was two pound. I do like smoked turkey bacon. I'm gonna have bacon and eggs for me uh, breakfast tomorrow, I think. Bog roll, well you know what that's for, to wait your ass, me to eat this. Uh, this was 152 I think, but it's supposed to be four, you know, it's two but it's four. It has a song in that, isn't it? If I had a tune it's two but it's four. Did it? Yeah, you know what I mean. 265 uh, for some strawberries that are bigger on it. Look quite nice. Um, 90p for sweetener. Um, two pound, two pound for some comfort, and it's the sunshine days, which I love the sunshine days. I was running out, so I needed to get some. It's my favourite scent. Um, 60p for some passata for when I make like my tomato sauces and that. Means me, I have. Can you hear? Can you hear me boot? Every time I move. Oh. 
I've been as good as a fucking burglar, would I? Keen stumping along. Uh, 80 people on these naked Singapore curry. Oh no, I've got the wrong ones. I like the rice, I don't like the egg noodles. I have to see how many centers in that cousin the race. It's like one and a half cent in the pot. Uh, two ninety for a small pack of mints. I'm gonna do a uh, the mints. Uh, I like the shepherd's pie on Monday. Uh, Fifteen p for the broccoli because it's veg wars again. You know where the sell the veg off cheap at Easter. One seventy five for some Igoni eye mask. It was supposed to be three pounds, so I did get like one twenty five off. So I have got a. Uh, I do suffer from puffy eyes sometimes, so I thought I put that in the fridge. And you know when you like really got me really tight eyes, stick it on. I keep my eye cream in the fridge for the exact same reason. One sixty for some rye beet. I haven't bought rye beet that for years. Dark rye crisp bread. I do like it and I like it with a bit of cheese spread on and onion. Who knew? Um, I got two of these. These are one pound ten. They're like three of a quark, really. Three really full of protein. You can do like a sort of fake cheesecake with them and stuff like that. Uh, 60p for a bag of cherry tomatoes. I've got still got some in, so I just thought I'd do a couple. One, one eight for some blueberries. Fifty nine p for some spring onions. Uh, two pound for a tin of cured chicken breast. I like to have this in just. I've got to do a ham version like this and it's really good for quiches and just salads even though know, chop it up and put it in a salad and make a chicken salad with it. Two twenty five for tin of stewed steak. The same thing with this. It's lovely on mash and veg. If I'm not I know tin stewed steak, but if I'm not feeling well I can't be bothered to cook. Stuff like this is like a lifesaver for us. You know what I mean? It makes that make sure I can eat because sometimes I get so tired I can't eat. So like having convenience food for me is great. Uh, mushrooms, because I've got some diced beef in there, I'm going to make a beef and mushroom curry. It'll be end. I might do beef and mushroom with cauliflower. Beef and, mm, okay. Because I like little put packing full of veg. And I need a ton. Um, 70 p for some little gem lettuce. Oh, this come on. I'm just about to do Come on, in a big fucking lot of little Amazon. Look at the size of the package for that. What? Amazon, get your fucking priorities right. I know what it is. It's some stop us from McCain. Because McCain, the bottom of McCain, the rubber bit is worn through. And it's dangerous because it slips on the ground. So I need to buy some new stoppers. They were about six quid for two. I got the good ones, not the cheap ones. Because the cheap ones are shite. Uh, bag number three. Oh, God. Sorry about you have to, like, go off and that. Job copy, three pound eight. They put it up from last week. It was three pound. See what I mean about the prices going up? There's me other one of them. They were one, they were one pound ten. This is one pound fifteen. It's like a fake cordesan, you know, like the really expensive one. Just as as me, it's all right. Actually, does the job. And selling the Muller lights for a pound, so I've got two packs because I needed some. Two packs of Muller. Not my favourite ones, I prefer the, Al the Aldi ones. Got better for me. Um, got some ravioli, I really fancy some ravioli one time. Look, I thought, you know when you just fancy some beef ravioli from it in? Like I say, it's convenient for me when I'm knackered. I can open it in that, heat it up. 
may put some broccoli with it, something like that. At least I know I've got it in for if I ever feel like I'll see I'm flagging now. I'm starting to feel really tired now and I've gone up at like half eight this morning. Got them for my daughter's dog because if ever I go up I always take a treat up for her and she expects it now. She goes mental. Um fifty something pay for peppers each. Not that the best, not that the best one, so I'm going to probably have to use them up fast. And one pound ten for a big cauliflower. I've got one, but I want another one because I'm going to. But well, I think I will put, do a cauliflower mash from on top of my shepherd's pie with the potato in it. It makes it like stable. And this I think I'm doing in the curry with the beef. Do just be for cauliflower curry. That sounds actually quite nice. <laughs> See that? I'd say every every veg is my favourite because I do love my vegetables. I'm not a picky person, you know. I mean, I will try anything, basically. Right, this is the last bag, and this is um two pound eighty for. 12 medium eggs. I needed some eggs because I have not. And um, oh, anything else? Yes. Um, seven pound for hair dye. I need the dyeing hair. It won't be this colour. Be a deeper dark colour because this is like wearing. You know what I mean? It's like being plus the greys are coming through. So, uh, look, you can see, man, I'm free as a fucking badger, honestly. So I've got that. Um, this is some jelly. This was £1.10. Buy this, I do mix up with yoghurt, put in some glasses, and it makes a nice um, fruity dessert. Like, uh, it's weird, but it makes a nice dessert. Use one pack and you get four in like four little glasses. It's actually quite nice. Right, um, what else? Uh, I've got a couple of spices. I've got um, Chinese five spice because I ran out and I've got some sage. Don't know why, just for custom names. I get doing these recipes and say, oh, sage, and I've never got it in. So I thought I'll get it in. They were pound each. Right, um, I did. Oh, um, one eighty nine for a honeydew melon. Not very big, and I hope it's got some taste this time. The last one I got from Asda had no taste. It was awful. I'm going on full Georgie Moore there, like one. I mean, man, you know what I mean, pet. <laughs> I got this mug. It says Mum's mug. It's like off the Mother Day section. Mother's Day section, but I really like the colour. And I like the handle, I like the, and this was 30p. All the Mother's Day mugs and stuff are dead cheap. This was 30p, so I thought, I get that, that's a new mug to my collection. Uh, it's a mum's mug, but I had to buy it myself. So that was 30p. Um, this was, I would have gotten more of these, but this was the last one. This frame, I'm going to paint it, take that off, and hang it up with the, like, one of my pictures in. I'm gonna like do a gold or something or give it a gold rub. I've got some gold wax and this was 40p. And this is the last one. I've got it. If they had it, I would have gotten another five and made made like an assemblage or something with them with photos up on the wall or pictures or prints or whatever. Um I've got these two bags, these were ten p each. Uh, really nice. I had loads. I'm gonna. Uh, got this bag for ten p. I know it says Happy Mother, Lovely Mum, but you can just take that off and it's just a nice pink and white bag. Um, anything else? Yes, there is. I bought a couple of cards. 
these were expensive well not expensive so come to four pound for two cards i'm not going to show you because of my daughter one's off the kids and one's off me and then i had to buy this bag because i needed a small bag and this was the only one that had and this was one pound sixty i know it's a good strong bag um, but I bought a ring for the for my daughter off the kids and I needed a small bag for it and this was the smallest one that I had and so that is the haul and overhaul and that lock came to £65 because it was 61 it came to £66 something because I have a Christmas savings clubs card which I put a fiver on otherwise it would have been £61 put a fiver on that and I've now got the five pound so far saved up towards Christmas. So I don't be prepared. I do it every year. So that is me whole and all the whole like I say there wasn't much. There's only me. I don't need that much actually. Um oh dear, I've got after I think I've got a button of squash that's about the turn, so I might have to make a soup out of it. So I might be doing me doing that this afternoon, I might make a but not squash and red pepper soup. Mmm, spicy. Anyway, so that's all me haul. Everything. Like I see, I had a really nice day yesterday. Got me Doc Martens hands, which I'm so happy in. There will be another little haul coming probably this weekend. Because I have got a little Timo bag. I've got two things from the charity shop. And I've got a couple of little things from Primark. So it will be like a mini haul. I may just keep for next week. Anyway, so you know what I'm going to say? Be good, be kind, but most of all, be excellent to each other. And you know what? Just be a good human and happy Easter. Bye.